I guess you also got a call from Amulet TV last night? So what if I did? You're not honestly gonna go work for them. Give me two reasons why I should stay at this bucket shop. But Fred's been so good to us over the years. Why would... Shh! Oh, I'm uh, so sorry. That's okay, sweetheart. Look what you've done, you imbecile. Yeah! <laughs> I've had enough of this station. We have a good thing going here. There's no I in team. Well, there is an M and an E. Five seconds, folks. Four, three, two, one, and we're on. Good evening. I'm Brooke Frost. And I'm Storm Dawson. You're watching Obey TV News at 6. Our top story tonight, a new study has found that mad cow disease is again sweeping across Europe, much faster than was first believed. We now go to Kiki Dirts, live from Lockside, Scotland. Hello. Ah. You stay there. I'll go get help. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, in other news... A little young for you, don't you think, Dad? Well, definitely too old for you, Hudson. I'm done with girls for a while. I'm tired of having my heart used as a piñata. I think we should see other people. Can we still be friends? I'm just a little confused right now. Yeah! It's not you! It's me! This wouldn't have anything to do with that girl, Rosie, would it? No. Faster than was first believed. And in a surprise move today, Frankie Amulet, media mogul and president of Amulet TV, announced that he has applied to the mayor's office to replace Obey TV as Maple City's principal broadcaster. Here's what Frankie Amulet had to say from his new $10 million West Side mansion. People of Maple City, how you doing? It's come to my attention that Maple City is ready for a new generation of TV. It's time to put Obey TV out of its misery and give you people some quality programming. Fred Styles, you are a joke, and the joke is over! Remind me to fire our news editor. What's that guy's problem? That's Frankie Amulet. I haven't seen his ugly mug since high school. We were both running for class valedictorian, and with a week to go, I thought I was a shoe in But Frankie brought in a bunch of goons to help him persuade students to vote for him. Thank yous for voting me class valedictorian. In the end, my honest campaign was no match for Frankie's group of thugs, and he was crowned valedictorian in a landslide victory. I needed to taste revenge, although I'm not condoning this. Congratulations, Frankie. To show their no hard feelings, I got this especially for you. Grazie, Freddy boy. Hey, and it's a chocolate chilla, my favorite. Ooh. And now I present your Maple Central High School valedictorian, Frankie Amulet. <clears throat> Fellow classmates, how you doing? We stand here today on the edge, looking over a vast sea of possibilities. And although the water may look muddy, <laughs> well, we must always keep our priorities straight. Number one, family comes first. Number two, oh, oh. never forget to. did that. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, he vowed he'd be back one day. I guess this is it. I'm so sorry, Senor Styles. Where are you going? 
Senor Amulet has offered to triple my pay. But, Manny! Uh, I gotta do what's best for my sister and her little banditos back in Honduras. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. Match the offer. Forget it. I won't let him tell me how to spend my money. Frederick! We'll get another housekeep. And this is the one time my decision's final. about this. What is it, General? I have just received word that even as we speak, two more germ platoons are moving through the Larynx Pass and will be engaging us shortly. We can't win this war! Listen, men. We shall not flag or fail. We shall fight in the spleen and in the veins. We shall fight in the bowels. We shall never surrender! You're done painting the bucket there, boy. It's time to take your temperature. Burl, that better be oral. This here's a bear thermometer. Got it for 50 cents when that animal clinic up on Route 16 went belly up. That instrument is so not going inside of me. Sir, barf's a lot speaking. You can't be sick. I really need your help here. Oh, okay. Let me activate my spontaneous healing device. Oh, wait. I don't have one. Okay, forget it. I guess I gotta do this myself. Whoa, whoa, whoa hold up. What's going on? Manny's gone. Gotta get her back. Call you later. <laughs> Geez, how does a girl get some privacy in this shack? Understand. Just tell me. Okay. When I first came to your country, I needed a job. Your parents asked me, Manuela Conchita Bonito Chiquita Morales, do you have a work permit? I lie. I tell them, Jess, Frankie knows this and is using this information to hold me hostage and get back at your father. Let me help you. No. And you must never tell your parents. 
I am so ashamed. Now, I will help you get out of here. 